Special interest uh, matters, and the first uh, member today to speak is the Honourable Member for Rosevears. <coughs> mumble, mumble, mumble. River. Thanks uh, very much, Mr. President. Um, volunteer groups uh, throughout Tasmania, Mr. President, are carrying out tasks that would otherwise have to be tackled by government. They therefore deserve government support and of course some of them do receive it. However, there is one key problem for volunteer groups, especially those who take on outside work such as weed eradication and tree planting and general bush care. I'll, I'll just come to that problem shortly, but first I want to talk about the role of a very successful volunteer group in my electorate, the Friends of the Trevallon Reserve. Now the Friends Group was started in 2001 by Jenny and John Pertell and Anna Povey. Members of the group tackle problems in the Trevallon Reserve at weekends. Anna Povey, who is still on the management committee, says the, uh, good, they get good bang for buck because they only receive just a grant of a few hundred dollars a year, and that's to help them, you know, with the odd shovel here and there, their gloves and that sort of thing. Then they just get on with the work without having to spend time on things like fundraising. The cash grant comes from Landcare Tasmania, and they of course got to be saluted for the work that they're doing, but and no doubt we'll be talking more about them throughout uh, uh, this year as it unfolds. But uh, this group, FOTIA as they're known, Friends of Trevallon Reserve, work mostly on its own. Sometimes they ask for, for assistance though. For example, if the weed uh, patch is maybe too large or too difficult to cut and paint or to dig out, then they ask the relevant authorities to come in and spray it. The bushland that they look after covers council and state reserves, Mr President, and the group has a very good relationship with the Parks and Wildlife Service, the Launceston City Council and the West Hamer Council, which help by providing the herbicide, knowing that it's worth spraying the weeds, because this group, FOTIA, can be relied on to do the follow-up control, so it's not wasted. So the Friends do get that moral and practical support, Mr President. Their, their main initial problem was insurance, as you would understand. Anna Povey says the insurance burden can be such that many potential groups don't even get started because of it. It's too big a stumbling block. But the Friends came into being because the Wild Care organisation sorted out their insurance. Now, wild care makes the insurance aspect easy, and essentially it's free, as long as a, a few members are wild care members, so they can be listed as a wild care group. But of course, not all volunteer groups can qualify and receive that easy insurance cover. So that's something that I want to argue, is where the government could step in to help in this circumstance. As we all know, the public liability burden hampers a lot of activity in Tasmania. It was very severe. If I think back to when I first came into Parliament, you know, 13, 15 years ago, it was very severe. Public liability was a, was a real stumbling block for a lot of activity. But we should look, as we did then to a certain extent, at how New Zealand tackles the problem and we could do it through legislation and perhaps consider a body like our very successful MAIB, the Motor Accident Insurance Board, <coughs> to help volunteer and other groups with insurance. You know, public, probably a public liability insurance board or something like that. But if I could just get back to the Friends of Trevallon Reserve, Mr President, because I know time is limited, but all such groups need those few key people to enable the contributions of a much larger group of people. And these key people need to be supported and they need to be encouraged so that they don't burn out. And they mustn't be overwhelmed with things like insurance and, uh, and, uh, and safety and, and the fundraising hassles that go with a, with a group and with activities like this. And Anna Povey argues also for bush care officers or volunteer coordinators to be established with Parks and Wildlife and on local councils too. And they can help set up and support groups. So, Mr President, it seemed like a good idea. There could be a lot more work done 
for very little money. And I salute the work of the Friends of the Trevallion Reserve.